All right, guys, welcome to the new and updated hook grip tutorial. So, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for this for a while now, and I've always just referred back to the old video, but that video is almost a year old, and I was like, eh, might as well just make a new one. So, I'm not gonna make this video longer than it needs to be because I don't wanna waste your time and I feel like this is really something that's easy to learn. I've taught so many of my friends in under five minutes. So I'm gonna bring y'all over here and show y'all how I grip the bar. A little POV action going on. Since I have to hold the camera with one arm, I'm going to be just showing y'all what I do with my other hand. First thing is first, hand placement. So what you wanna do is go down, grip the bar with your thumb. With these two fingers, your middle finger and your pointer, you are going to grab your thumb and with your ring and pinky, you are going to push up against the bar. So what that's gonna look like is the inside of your palm is going to be pressed into the bar. So it's gonna look like this. Boom, boom. Show y'all. Reach down. Wrap with your thumb all the way around the bar, these two fingers squeezing your thumb, and then these two up against the bar. Wrap, up against the bar. And now we're locked in. Same thing with the other side. And something that I see people do, huge mistake, is they'll go down, grip the bar, right? but then they'll lean a little forward, wrist bent, and then they'll go up and try and pull. What, what's gonna happen there is you're creating a lot of dead space so that when you pull, you're gonna be brought forward. Instead, you just want to grip it here and keep it already in that lengthened position so that when you go for the initial pull, you don't get rocked forward. I'll show y'all better explanation. I'm gonna put the camera down now. All right, so now I can better explain to y'all because I'm in front of the camera and it's not POV anymore. So now that you guys saw a close up of how to position your hands, I'm gonna show y'all from here. First things first, you want to extend your arms like hooks. You don't wanna go down like this. You want them straight. And what I like to do is point my fingers down towards the earth. Because if I go down like with my hands raised, grab the bar, it's a little, it's a little difficult and uncomfortable to get that perfect positioning, which I'll go over perfect positioning in a different video. This is just hook grip today. So, fingers pointed down towards the earth. I'm gonna go down, 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 reach for the bar. As soon as my middle finger touches the bar, because that's my longest finger, I'm going to wrap my thumb, remember, without turning my wrist forward. So I'm gonna go down, wrap my thumb with pointer and middle, grab my thumb, and with ring and pinky, turn up. So now I'm locked in. That ain't coming out. What that's gonna look like just in its entirety is boom, wrap, lock, boom. This ain't coming out, I, I promise you. I promise you this ain't coming out. All right, so now that I've explained to you how I pull hook, I'm going to demonstrate with working up to my top set for today. Uh, I told myself I wasn't actually gonna lift, but here we are. Two. We don't need a deadlift jack around here. Nice. 
nice and generous. Gotta make yourself look like a baker. my belt yet, it's in the car. Hook grip, not double overhand. All right, I'll use the jack now. I don't wanna get hurt. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, my back feel a little toasty. I hope you heard that. That was crazy. Uh. All right, I'll get the belt for the next one. Cause it's in the car. I just wanna do this. 495. Not bad. All right, last one. I really was like, all right, I'll work up to like 315 for the video. I do this for y'all. All right, guys, so. I'm gonna show y'all something. So sometimes, where you grab on the bar if you use chuck, it gets a little bit too chalked up, okay? That's where this little utensil comes in. It's called a wire brush. Got it on Amazon for like $2.99. So we're gonna come here, POV view, all right? Come here at a diagonal angle, and you get all the chalk up. <laughs> Then once it's clean, you roll it, boom. Clean it up, I'm gonna fast forward it now for y'all. There's also like more, I don't know, updated items for this, but they're probably like 40 bucks, like brands sell them. This shit's like $3 on Amazon, it does the same shit. You just wipe the floor where you're gonna stand, boom. Super useful tool, wire brush, link it in the description. As well as the chalk that you guys are always asking me, Chris, what kind of chalk do you use? This chalk right here, also get on Amazon. I don't remember how much this was, but this is a pound. Uh, I don't know. I like it much better than liquid chalk. Powder is always the go-to for me. Liquid chalk just slides off. But yeah, this is what I use. I'll link that in the description as well. Now time to go get my belt from the car. So I gotta hit the top set. Ugh. All right. Ugh. Tired guy over here. Let's make a move. Ugh. 
<clears throat> Literally hit chest, shoulders, tries. Finished off with 100 pull-ups earlier. I think that workout took like three and a half hours. Then I went back to the abode, had a meal, chilled for a little bit. I was like, ah, I gotta film this hook grip tutorial for the fam. So I came over here, I was like, ah, I'll work up to like 315 or something like that to show them the powers of the hook grip. But then I got here and I'm like, damn, man, I can't see like a deadlift you know, bar with everything set up and not pull like semi-decent numbers. So not that like less than that is decent, but like decent per for me. So I threw on the six plates for y'all. Hope you enjoyed the pull. And I hope you guys enjoyed the hook grip tutorial. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment on, you know, anything else that you'd like to see from me on this channel or just, you know, in general, anywhere, any of the socials. And don't forget to subscribe because that helps the channel and me grow. And uh, thank you again. Love you all and see you all next time.